All right, guys, new age tactical back with another video. Knife. So we went back to the comments and came up with this behemoth. New age. <laughs> So, recommended by... By Butterbean Outdoors, a boy! So... But, I'm just gonna say right away, we've it, purposely it, been avoiding this one. If this is anything like the size of the box... <laughs> no, it's not. Markings are not flaws, <clears throat> rather it's nature's own designs. Each one, each one will have its own personality and distinctive materials. So what you no, now own is a one-of-a-kind knife complete with unique markings. Pretty sure this is the one that Dad used to have. Hmm. It's nice. It's very classy looking. Yeah, this is Grandpa's knife. Holy sh**, that's sharp. Stiff too. I just poked myself by accident. Like pretty sure I broke skin. You didn't think I'm crazy. This is one fucking solid feeling knife, bro. You have no like jimping, engraving, or anything in here, so it's extremely comfortable. It's a little slippery. There's no like thumb stud. You kind of do need two hands. Maybe I, you can master the uh, the art of. Opening it. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you could. See, that's the thing is I feel like we have to tread very lightly with this knife. There are definite features about this knife that we do not like right away. Uh, one being is we're not exactly sheath carriers. So that's going to be a little odd. I don't know if I'm going to sheath it or just pocket it. I'm not quite 100%. Hey, dude, we live in Pennsylvania, bro. Sheaths are where it's at. I, I guess, yeah. The other thing being, of course, is the, the lock. You know, we're, we're not fans of the lock being in that position, so I'm, I'm keeping an open mind because I know it's a buck knife. Lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty, and they... Wow, the weight? Yeah. You're surprised. Like, it's it's got some, like... It's solid, dude. It's a solid knife. It is kind of like that perfect hand length, like what you want. This thing is sharp, bro. That tapered edge is kind of like... I like the way it looks, but is that going to be a structural problem? You know what I mean? Mm. I guess we're going to have to see all this stuff. But as far as, like, quality and craftsmanship, this was forty nine ninety nine. I was a little pissed when I ordered this. But at the same time, it was kind of like payday. Like, you know, uh, it's been something that's been recommended a long time ago. I see why it's forty nine ninety nine. Because it's solid metal all through there with the with the nice wood inlays. I mean, it's a work of art. Okay. <laughs> it's nice. I mean, it's definitely catching. Like, you can see how much is falling off right now. Holy sh**. Yeah, that's no joke, Sharp. My fault. That's still pretty damn good. No, it would go if I didn't, if I didn't catch the guard every time. This is one of the first things I'm actually afraid of cutting myself with. Hmm. Maybe because what Dad said. <laughs> I 
that's definitely the nicest thing in the, that post or uh, foam board. Foam board. <laughs> wow! It's like, it's like warm butter, bro. You don't even have to push. Sis Look at this. Like not even pushing. It's just the weight of the knife. Or not. Holy sh! Damn, that cut so clean, it looks like you melted it. I'm not shaking because I'm pressing so hard. Let's put it that way. If you use the f Damn. Look at that. The noise. All right, well. Jared's shoulder is hurting him, so I'm gonna be taking over the knife. This is weird. So a new age tactical first. Blew out my shoulder, pretty bad. Actually gotta go to the doctor tomorrow, kind of see if I did some serious damage or if I'm just pulled something. But it's pretty excruciating right now, especially after doing all that stuff. Holy oh, shit! Ah, this feels so weird being on this side of the camera. Just went hard and true. At the graphite that time. Look what you're doing in a f***ing cutting board. I know, I know. It got... You could see... Oh, that one... Oh my god. That's going right into the deep too. Look at that. There's like no effort required. That was 10. Yeah, almost through. So close! Almost through. How many more? Would have been one more. That was 10. Oh, okay. Yo, that is exactly half an inch. Woo! Uh, color me impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna try and drink the paint away with this weird sh you bought. If you stay low where we didn't bang the blade up, this blade's chewed up pretty bad. If you stay low down here, as soon as you get to that part, mm -hmm. Like, it's, you can see how ridiculously sharp it still is. Yeah. Like, it hasn't lost anything. That went 
through surprisingly easy. That was not easy wood. I didn't have time to catch up. That wasn't even easy wood. No. You know 10 plus 10 is the same as 11 plus 11? What's 10 plus 10? It's 20. What's 11 plus 11? 22. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah. Wow. wow. Hold on, hold on. It's perfect. There's no frame. No. All the Dude, holy sh**. Yeah. Right where the seam was, there's not even fraying. Yeah. Oh my god! Bro. <laughs> Yo, so, full disclosure, I probably could have did better. I'm willing to go that much rope if you want to do that. Yeah, but... let's do it, because All I right. think if I... I'm just trying to... I'm babying myself a little, so... Ow. First off, I guess we should apologize for a little bit of change-up. Never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> really banged up my shoulder. Um, it hurts even more after we did the rope, but holy sh**. The rope was amazing. <sighs> We've only had two knives to do that. This is the second knife. R really not go out on a limb here. This gets a stamp. That's why I haven't said anything. It did went through every single test, including the s both... All three kinds of sizzle rope. Slicing sizzle rope, chopping sizzle rope, and then taking a swipe. And it's smooth out. blade, too. It's first, smooth I blade. Think it's the first no smooth serrated. Blade. Like, uh, since when has a non serrated blade ever done that? Like, I'm, I'm taken aback. There is no flaw that I can find that is not a personal flaw. And Don't. as I said, my personal flaws are mainly just the lock. And, but I know, dude, this is a 1962 buck. Like, and the weight, <laughs> but they counter the weight with this. But even regardless, that weight, I believe, is what got me to a half an inch on the deck railing insert. Absolutely. Like, it, 100%. Absolutely. Like, but, so, all right, so we broke it down into two stamps now. Nat stamp and EDC stamp. So if you can make it through the slicing and the chopping, that's the EDC part of it. But also weight. Functionability. Other things, yes, know. like our personal preferences. Now, if you can make it through the abuse part of it, you get that's the Nat stamp. But, so now what I'm thinking here, more or less, is that it gets both stamps. I'm not, it really does. But what I'm going to say is that as far as the EDC point of it, I don't mind no pocket clip because I don't really carry it on my pocket when I'm at work and stuff like that. This is a little too heavy to carry in like dress pants, so I'm, I won't carry this, but I mean, you know, for work. This adds a whole new level to your EDC carry. Now, if you're okay kind of showing that you have a knife, which is not like you don't show it when it's clipped on your pocket, but this kind of draws a different type of attention, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Damn, man. I, you, I could finally say once in my life, Daddy was right. <laughs> <laughs> this blade is sharp as f out of the box. Locking mechanism and opening wise, it's a little rough, but I think that's just something we're not used to, so I'm not gonna I won't deduct anything because of it. The blade did get chewed up on the can and on the deck railing, I think, right? It was after the deck railing, it was a little chewed up. Honestly, no, it even made it through the deck railing. The can was the no, only it was, thing. No, it was chewed up before the can. Because I remember looking at it, I said, ooh, it's a little chewed up. And then I started going at the can. Okay, maybe when it, maybe when I was going hard on the pencil. Maybe. Well, anyway, nothing that a good, like, real quick sharpen can't get rid of. It's not, it's just tiny, tiny, tiny nicks in the blade. I put my life behind that. In, like, a wilderness scenario, if I had to pick a folding knife... I mean, don't get me wrong. We're not talking about $500, $600 folding knives, zero tolerance, all that other no, bullshit. No, We're talking about for $50, I would put a lot behind this knife. This knife did everything we threw out of it, threw at it, and then some. You know? And I think I was so afraid to do this knife for the longest time because I was afraid that it would do badly. And it completely sidelined me and just you know, was like, I got this. <laughs> there's nothing really bad about it, too. Like, you, you just have solid metal all through there. Solid construction, a lot of thought put behind, you know, 
all the inlays, the rivets, the way that this handle feels is so ergonomically correct. It's not even funny. You also got to think we're talking about a knife that has been around since 1962, but we're talking about a knife company that's been around since 1902. Yeah. There's a tiny, tiny bit of blade play, actually. Why sharpen it? Why not just send it out for 10 bucks and then do a review in a couple weeks it's of when they... Almost, yeah, like... Look, send return, send repairs to attention warranty department. You just go on Buck Knives, register, and send it over. And it gives you the address right here. I don't know, man. It's pretty amazing product, pretty amazing story. Made in the USA, you know, assembled in the USA. The sheath was made in Mexico, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. For the money, I was kind of worried $50 was too much. And I'm, now I'm not. I'm, I'm thinking that's pretty solid, man. It's a great size. It's a great feel. I got nothing else. I don't want to drag this out too long. I think we already did. Uh, yeah, no, it's... But we're, we're conversating, though, because this this kind of, I think we're a, a little... A lot of it's going to get trimmed out. And we're both a little... Saucy. Per perplexed by... Uh -huh. <laughs> no, perplexed that this did what it did. I'm sorry, I did not expect it. But guys, we'll put a link in the description if you want to buy your own. Uh, you know it helps us out. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Hit the bell. Other than that, guys, New Age Tactical. Over and out. Oh, and thanks, Butterbean. Butterbean! <laughs> Outdoors. <laughs>